I'm back again, and I have our first guest for today is a very well-known writer, author of books, and I find out that he's a fantastic artist as well. I'd like to introduce Mr. Steve Hammond. Thank you. So glad to have you here today, Steve. Glad to be here. And are you uh, going? It looks like you're going to have some things to show us here. Yeah, a few things. But before we do that, I'd like to know a little bit about you. Um, when did you discover that you were a writer as well as an artist, or which came first? Um, artist came first. Art came first. Drawing pictures, you know, ever since I was a little kid, mm -hmm. and always did well with art. Took a lot of art classes in high school. Great. And then writing kind of came along late high school, and then I put that aside for about two decades, and then I came back to it. Oh, I've done things like that too. Yeah. Um, Your writing. What inspired you to start writing? Um, really, I just have a, a vivid imagination, and oh. I would write down little story ideas here and there, mm -hmm. and then finally one came to me one night, and I just started going with it, and you know, six books later, here I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Six books. Yep. Let me see. Is this two of them? Yeah, These are my two, two most recent. This is my most recent book. Okay, Rise of the Penguins, Order of the Kings. That really looks fantastic. Love the cover. Yeah, What's this? Other? And this was the previous book right before that in the series. Rise of the Penguins, the Royal Creed. I think we have something that's going to go on and on until they find it for the movies, right? Yeah, well, yeah, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> that would be very, very nice. That is great. And you've got other, what are your other books about? Um, it's all the series right now. Oh, you're, yeah. you're working on the whole thing? Yeah. Wow. That is it's sort of sci-fi, is it? So, fantasy, yeah. Yeah, I call fantasy. It modern, modern fantasy. Yeah, that's, that, that is really interesting. Could you give me just a little idea of what this, what you're trying to get across with these penguins? Uh, the penguins are intelligent, and they've united under an, an ancient race of penguins, and the leader dubbed himself the Overlord and brought the clans together. That's what the different species are called, or clans. And uh, he gets them into a pretty ill-advised war trying to drive people out of a... Antarctica, and it goes from there. Wow, that's, that's, I love penguins. I might really start reading these books. Anyway, I noticed, um, as well as being a fantastic writer, you also are a fantastic art artist. I mean, these are amazing. Yeah. Tell uh, us a little about what, how you got started in doing this, this uh, type of art that really has sort of been ignored for a long time. Yeah, I, I mean, I've been doing, you know, charcoal and I'm also do oil paintings mm -hmm. usually. And earlier this year, I decided to, I was walking through the hardware store and saw a wood burner uh, kit and I decided to take, try my hand at pyrography. I didn't know they still sold them. Yeah, this is Look at this. Of my work. Can you see how beautiful that is? That is with a, a hot instrument you go in and do all of t all of the dark parts of it. Yep. That is beautiful. Who is that? That is Jimi Hendrix. Oh, I knew he was somebody famous. <laughs> Let's see this one. And I love prehistoric life, so I did a prehistoric, prehistoric fish. Yeah, beautiful. I told him this way probably. <laughs> <laughs> and that one, this one is gorgeous too. And oh uh, I read to Prince. Look at this. This is fantastic. It's neat to be able to do portraits in something other than just oils or pastels. You yeah, know? it's, it's, it's I, really interesting. I did one of my grandson for my wife for Mother's Day. Oh. Uh, I didn't have the foresight to bring it down here with me, but <laughs> it, they came out pretty well too. And this is, you can put color in them too. This is neat. Yeah. See, you also, can. Co put color. What do you use for coloring? The uh, for this, I used Prismacolor pencils. Prismacolor pencil. And uh, yeah, it's. I do the anime conventions and so well. And again, I got my love for dinosaurs here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. So. look out for this man! This beautiful dinosaur. 
<laughs> that is fantastic. I love your art, and you. I know I probably would love your books. But uh, tell me what is coming up for you. Is any uh, you have any shows anywhere? Um, I generally I do art hop at my studio at Broadway Studios. Um, I won't be there this upcoming one because I have to work. I work for the Fresno Grizzlies as well, and. Um, and as far as I don't really have anything booked. I used to do the Sanger Art Hop, uh, Fresno Art Hop. Um, in the fall, I'll be doing ZapCon down at the convention center and selling some of this stuff. Great. And in October, I'll be up in Manteca, the Great Valley Book Fest. Manteca. That's fantastic. Do you do a, a book signings for your books? Yeah. Yeah, Manteca will be the big, the big one. And... Uh, I'll try to book whatever I can <laughs> in between. Wherever I can find a venue, I'll take it. Okay, well, have you uh, ever thought of joining an organization, an art, art organization? Um, yeah, I mean, I've, I've considered it. Well, the yeah, Alliance of California Artists is really good, and they have shows all the time, really big shows, where you can... You know, just enter. They don't, you know, charge too much. But I think it, they would love to have this, and it's different. It's, you know, we're so tired of flower paintings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm actually getting a lot of work with this, uh, picking up commissions and so forth. And you know, if somebody has an idea or something they want me to do, all they have to do is contact me on my email, and we can talk it over. Okay, you want to give the email or what? Um, yeah, it's. I use Stephen Hammond at riseofthepenguins.net. Oh, that, so, that uh, makes sense, yeah. right? <laughs> That's a good one. Um, I'm working on getting a, me and my friend uh, Joshua, um, we're working on getting a website up. <gasps> that would um, be great. Our, I have the one for my books, but we're going to combine it with my artwork. And, That's great. And well, it's really wonderful having you this morning. I'm so glad you came in. And when things happen or you get a new book out or something or there's an art show, come on back in. Right, I will. Thank and... You. We'll have a good, good talk. Thank you for having me. We'll be right back.